I'll play it once for you, and then I want you to play it back for me. Okay. okay? So I'll play the first two measures, then you play it back to me. Okay, so let's try it again. Good, good. Now the last note there... Okay. It's actually a D. Oh, okay. Now, how how much do you care about playing the exact notes versus just playing something? Um, I mean, the exact notes, kind of as long as it sounds the same, it's pretty much good enough, kind of. <laughs> okay, um, all right. But... That's fine. Um, let's go to... Let's just talk about the... You have that little thing that goes... Right? Yeah. At the very end there. Yeah. So, when you're playing it at full speed... So, let's see. Let, let me just start a little bit before that. Now, when I listen to the recording, they're actually doing big spaces between those notes. Okay. Like that. So, uh, what I would recommend is playing all three of those notes like that, with your bow going down all three times. You want to give that a try? Maybe just start a little bit before that, or wherever you want to start. Yeah, I, just have, and just... I just have no idea what those notes are. <laughs> okay. Um... So, the first one, so if you look here, I'll give, get my fingers up. So, yeah, the first one is actually an open D. Okay. okay. Next one is the first finger on the G string. And then the, the third note is your third finger. So you got open, one, three. And those aren't chords or anything? Those are just... They are just notes. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do... Meaning that you do the same fingers I just told you. The open, the one, and the three. But do it with the open string all three times. Okay. You could do that, too. Okay. Um, all right, so give that a try. Uh, wait, uh... So wherever you want to start, it's fine. You can start from the beginning too. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure out what the uh, how that that ending sounds. Okay, go ahead and just kind of fiddle with it first, and I'll help you. That's not. Yeah. So it actually starts. So it starts on the the uh, the D. Right here. Oh, okay. If you're if you're starting before that part. No, that's, <laughs> I'm still trying to. Uh, let's see if it's right. I forget where you are. Um. Okay. There we go. So try it, try it. Or whatever the notes are. Yeah, good. Now, when you're doing that, uh, as you bring your bow back, make sure you start on the string first before you pull. Otherwise, it sounds kind of wimpy, like... It gets kind of wimpy, so... Like you mean it, right? You're a band. you got to really dig into that thing. Better. I want to hear more dig. That's better. All right. One more time. Even more. There you go. That sounds more like a band to me. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, let's keep going then. Uh, why don't you play a little bit more for me, and I'm just going to figure out where you are. Um, let's see if we can try to get some of the the, intro, or the middle with the chords at. I think that's... Okay. I think it starts around two something. Yeah, go ahead and just, uh, and, and just play. I, I'll probably be able to figure out where you are. Okay. I'm going to guess you're probably talking about maybe, well, all right, we'll, we'll just see where you <laughs> It's a uh, fire on the mountain, boy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, don't, I can't even attempt it. I just don't have no idea. <laughs> so is it this part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so maybe I'll do it for you slowly. <laughs> so you have the fire on the mountain, right? Yeah. So we'll just assume that that's going to play every time that we do this. Okay. So when we come in... Uh, here's a little trick for you. So you know where your your the F the note that's called F yeah. on the E string is. 
So what you actually start on is a this chord here. So you got an open string and a one. See if you can play that with me. Good. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to start on an F and then slide it up. See if you can do that. Good. Now actually start with both of the notes playing at the same time first. And then slide it up. Good. Now with your right hand, try not to pay any attention to what your left hand is doing, as if it were like this. Right? As if you're not moving. But then just move your left hand only. Pretty good. Here's another thing to help you is when you put your hand down like this on the with the F sharp, the normal note, just scoot your, your finger back. Leave your hand in the same place. Just scoot your finger back and then scoot it forward. Okay. Yeah, I see a lot of motion in your hand. You're kind of doing this. Like you're kind of moving your whole thing. Okay. Just move that one finger. It should just be very simple. Good. That's much better. Okay? So you start with that. And then the next notes go like this. I'll do it slowly. So all it is is uh, one open one, two, one, open three, open two, open one, open three. And since we're recording this, you could go back and watch okay. this. Can we give that a shot? Uh, can we try it? I'll play it. Um, yeah, why don't we, uh, I'll do it one more time for you, then you just do the best you can, okay? okay? Pretty close. Try that. Yep. Now I'll tell you this: uh, you're a very quick study. You can just look at what I'm doing and figure it out. So that's that's a, yeah. a, a bonus I for you. Can't really so that's very music, though. <laughs> that's okay. So in this case, you're doing it all by ear, yeah. so we'll just have you be able to watch this video and you know play along yeah. and so forth. So here's what it is at full speed, so that you can practice with this yep. later. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's keep going. So you got the, the devil's in the house of the rising sun. <laughs> what happens after that? Do you know? Um, more chords and stuff. This one's actually pretty easy. Uh, I'll play it for you once here a little okay. slower, and then I want you to try it, okay? Just try that. Good. Now close. Good. Yeah, you're very good at playing by ear. So let me do both of them together. Sounds good. So let's do it one more time together. Yep, pretty close. You're actually adding yeah. an extra note there. So just make sure that uh, you're not using your first finger at all during that okay. second part. There you go. Perfect. All right, so you got it. Uh, and then you have the chicken in the bread pan pecking out <laughs> dough. And then, uh, so it starts off with the F, the low F. Okay, let me do it a little slower. Okay, let's, let's break it down. So you got the, you already have the, that part's good. So it's starting the next note. Yep, that's right. So, and then the next part. Good, now let's put it together. Let's do the first two pieces together. Um, good, 
then. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put all those pieces together. Okay, now you have the the first and last piece, right? <laughs> Let me do it again. Just go to there. There you go. Okay, now let's do the whole thing. Good. I'm teaching you the the secret to practicing and putting things together yeah. is to just take really smart small pieces and then build it up. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then you have. Granny does your dog bite. No, child, no. And then, now here, you want to put your second finger down on both strings to start yep. like this. Give, give that a shot. Yeah, you already got that. Okay. <laughs> now, the next part, uh, do you feel pretty comfortable with the, all yeah, that stuff? Yeah. It sounded pretty good to me when you were playing it. Um, why don't I go ahead and play this once for you so you have it on a recording, okay. though? Okay, and I'll do it uh, a little slower so you can see my fingers. It repeats three times. So those chords here, yeah. same thing where you do the retakes. Whew, that's hard. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do you want to try that at all, or do you just want to rely on this recording? No, yeah, let's try it. Let's try to do that. Um, just all those right. chords. Go for it. Just the okay. So first, you start with uh, open strings. All the way up. The yeah, it's the it's the it's the highest two. Oh. There you go. Okay, now you're going to put your first finger down on both the G and the D, your lowest two. Okay. Uh, the first finger. Now, this is one of the hardest chords to make in tune, <laughs> is to put a fifth down. So you're going to have to kind of play with it. Now what you can do here is turn your hand either left or right, and that changes the pitch like this. You hear how it's wave. So kind of move it between until til it sounds okay. There you go. That right there. You got it. Yeah. That's perfect. All right, so remember that in your hand and practice <laughs> yeah. it. And then the next one after that, the third chord, is with a three and a one. Good, excellent. And then the last one is your fourth finger and an open string. Yeah, and you can actually kind of cheat here if you want to. It's easier if you shift up. Are you, are you comfortable with yeah. shifting? So if you shift up to third position and put your second finger down, yeah, that might be easier, it might be harder, so just you have two choices, yeah. either your fourth finger or your second finger. Oh, it's, uh, what was it? Okay, so first you got open. Okay. Yep, open. And then you got, your, you got your, two finger, your first finger on both strings. And then the... Yeah, uh, first finger. Wait, is it two and one, right? It's uh, two. Uh, three and one, oh, okay. actually. The last chord is two. And it's a low three. There you go. And then your fourth finger in the open. Okay, good. All right. So, so far, so good. Um, and then you can, of course, watch this later. Uh, you want to play a little bit more for me later on? Some stuff that you want to look at? Um, uh, so, other stuff. Yeah, anything else that has, like, if you think of this song, you're like, I can't really play that part, Can, I need some help. Well, actually, a friend of mine who's playing, I just found out play the violin, was thinking about Metallica songs, uh, and there, I guess, was a really cool electric violin part in it, one of the songs. Okay, what is it called? Uh, I'm going to look it up. I think it's Nothing Else Matters, I believe. Or no, it's uh, Turn to Black, or Fade to Black. That's what it is. Metallica? Yeah. Okay, I see it. Violin. This is just the violin part. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep, the second oh. one, if you type in cover, it's 310,000. 310, 48, 478? Okay, yep. I see. Yeah. Okay, and then, let's see. Oh, Doc and Lady, I, I know them. Or at least I've seen their stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, 
Okay, now, the first question is, do you have um, music for this, or can you read music, or is it, uh, you just have to do I it? Can do, I can do it by ear, pretty much. I mean, by ear. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure that I could at least get most of it. I think it's just the ending part where she goes a little bit faster, it's hard for me to pick up the notes. All right, let me see where that is. I think it's around two minutes. Okay, let's see. Aha, yep, I think I found it. And it's just, just a little distorted, so it's kind of hard to pick up individual notes from there. Now, here's some, I can really tell you, she's staying right around, if you know where your second position is on your D string, uh, so this, starting with your F sharp here, see if you can find that note. Yeah. Okay, so now what she's doing here is she's actually going like this, kind of, staying in the same position, she's just putting her first, second, third down like this. And she's doing that a whole lot during uh, it's bright around measure uh, minute two, like it's the second minute, and then she shifts down. And it looks like she's just kind of doing this. So you can kind of, if you're just going to do like a cover of this, yeah. you can totally make up your own thing. But that's what it's built on. It's either built on the F sharp here, or you're in first position, just kind of moving between the D string and the A string. Okay. okay. Let me just take another look, make sure that's right. Yeah, so she's, she, all that stuff right here is just an open, open A, a first finger, and a third finger, and it's just alternating. Try that. Yeah, leave your second finger out of it. Don't okay. let your second finger touch, just your third finger. There you go. So that's what she's doing there. Okay. Okay, and then she has some run uh, that kind of just moves from the A down to the D, down to the G, and something like, uh, let me do it one more time. Let's see. Actually, all it is is this. So all you're doing is you're going... First try, you got it. Okay, so that that's the magic that's happening here. She's just changing the little the tempo okay. a little bit, but it's just built on those three basic things. All right, okay, so you can totally figure that out. Um, and then the rest of it, it sounds like you'd be able. If yeah, you can do yeah. what I just did with you, you can totally do yeah, the rest. Yeah, the rest of it, it didn't seem too bad. It's just that little part there seems kind of strange. Sure. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, we have about um, let's say six minutes. Okay. So, what else would you like to do? Um, let's see. Uh, have you ever heard of the band Yellow Card before? Yellow Card, I have not. Um, they have a really good violinist in their band, and I'm trying to learn his part for a lot of the songs that they do. Uh huh. So I see a whole bunch of names of songs. Yeah, right? and they have they've been on a while. Um, yeah, it seems like. Let's see. Uh, so you just want to pick one, or? I think Sure Shot is a good one. What is it called? Sure shot. And how do you spell that? S U R E S H O T. Oh, I see it. Okay. Sure shot. All right. Um, let's see. So I just typed in yellow card sure shot. Yep. Um, uh, pretty much any of them. The one with fourteen thousand two hundred five. Okay, fourteen thousand two hundred five. I don't see that one. But I do see one that I think that has that says yellow card yeah. in the front. Yeah. Just big letters, yellow card. Okay, that's probably it. And the intro is right away violin. Okay, I'm just going to get through this uh, little ad here, and then I'll just take a look at some. Okay, here we go. Okay, so so she goes, is it a she? No, it's a he. That's a he. <laughs> so so all, she, all he is doing here is playing... Uh, So uh, here are the notes that, that they're playing. So it's either a, a, the alternating note is this, okay. just open open E, and then you have a G sharp, which is a high two, uh -huh. and then an F sharp, which is a high one, and then she has a or he has a <laughs> high three. Yep, you have to extend your three up, 
and then a and then a high high one on A string, a B. Okay, so try that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So now a lot of that is built off of those four notes. Okay. So I'm I'm up to uh, ten seconds now. Yep. Those are the only notes that okay. they're playing. Okay. And then, and sometimes it's, and sometimes it's. Okay. So sometimes you alternate here. Uh huh. Okay. And then almost it's almost always. Always in that succession. Good. And here's the thing, you know, if you're going to cover this, you can do it however you want. As long as it's those notes, yeah. then you're good, yeah. right? Okay, cool. Um, do you want to look at anything else in this particular one? Um, no, I think that's just the intro for that. Other than that, okay. Um... I hope, is this helping? Yeah, it, it definitely is, because a lot of these Good. songs, I, I can do most of them, it's just the songs that I can't understand, they really bug me. <laughs> yeah, and then, it, and all it is is just picking out what are those, what are those notes, notes that's happening. Yeah. And as soon as you can see it, you can definitely do it, yeah. once you know where they are. Yeah, okay. exactly. Good. Um, okay, you want to do one more? Uh, sure. I'm, let's, I'm, I'm up for it. Let's see, um... By the way, this is a very unique teaching style. I don't know too many people that can just pick up a song, play it for um, you, and show it's you. It's awesome. <laughs> so hopefully this is good for you. It's awesome. My other teacher was good. like this too, but it was just more classical theme stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. And and uh, so I like to be more versatile, so you have to do some weird things with your violin to make it sound that way. But Yeah. But clearly, okay. Okay, so this one is definitely going to be out there. All right. Sleepy Man Banjo Boys. Sleepy Man Banjo Boys? Yeah. And they play on the let-in show. They have a violinist, and I want to try to learn to play like this. I mean, obviously, we'll have to take a lesson to, oh. to really go over it. Like a banjo? Wait, no, no, he, there's a violin. Oh, no, okay. There's a violin. Okay, um, so it starts around one minute, and they start playing. Okay, is this the uh, 420,000 one? No, this is the 6,818. Ah, I got it. Okay. And you said what time? Uh, around one minute. They actually start one playing. Minute. Okay. Violin comes in, I think, a little bit later. Yep. Let's see where he comes in. Okay, so he's just got the short notes. Yep. And all that is basically is is uh, on the G string is two, and on the D strings are three. It's just a lot of that. So G string two, and then the yeah, and then the other one is three. Okay. okay. Let's keep going. Oh, that kid's really good. Yeah. The banjo. Okay, so he's about to start. Oh, that's fast. Yeah. I couldn't catch any of the notes, really. Okay, so he starts off with, um, on the in third position, on the D string, he's got a three down. And then on the A string, he's got a one down. That makes sense. Wait. So let's find the first note. So you go on the D string and go all the way up to... There you go. Yep. That's right. And then on the A string, you're looking for. Yep. So you put those two together. Yep. Good. And then let's see. So da da. So that's his very first note. I can't believe that that little kid can, play, can do that. It's his, and actually, he's starting off with uh, on the just on the A string, a three, and a and a, a two on the E string. That's right. Okay, so that's how he's starting. And then he actually starts off uh, with a lower chord, so you got a D, the, the D string, a three, yep, and a, a one on the A string. Yep, so together. And then he slides up, so I don't know how well you can do this. Okay, pretty good. A little bit higher, but yeah. A little bit higher. That's how he starts. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then once it goes down, now this is what he's kind of doing. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what the notes are, but it's it's basically this this uh, scale here. Um, so let me do it slower again. That's right. Yep, 
you got it. Okay, so let me just listen. Let's see if I can grab it. And then um, he goes. Try those notes. Yep, now leave out your third finger on the G string. So go to a two. Yep, and then also a one. There you go. Yep, that's right. Yeah, and then uh, he's got a he's got a uh, a harder one. It's a fourth, which is um, third position D string, second finger, an A, uh, and then a one on your D on your your A string. So now together, also very hard to play, but he's kind of go, and he ends up on this, and then he goes back down. <laughs> You know, all that stuff. Okay. okay, so that's what it's built on. It's built on those notes, and it goes down to those other notes, and then he's got those three chords okay. going on. So if you can mix it up, you don't have to play it the same yeah, way he does. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's definitely a good start there, though. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see.